Okay, so we're back up in familiar territory. Uh, this is where the, the second probe happened uh, earlier on in the day. And there are a few more units involved this time around. Um, all of our infantry as usual, and I think all of the enemy are infantry as well. This is a rifle regiment, um, had the T-34 from there the last time out. So not any indication of any tank support other than the, the tanks that are inherent in that regiment, I suppose. So go ahead and fight the battle. Okay, so here's the overview of the battlefield. We've got three strong attacks coming in. Uh, one heading for Hill 65.2, one for Strong Point, and one for 65.5. Uh, we have five battle groups up here, down here, here. Uh, that's one, and this is another one over here. Just infantry with some anti-tank guns, not the best. And some legs. I wouldn't be surprised at all if we didn't see some Russian armour this time out. But we'll do what we can. Uh, I thought it might be worthwhile just showing you how I tend to set up uh, when I'm playing as the Germans anyway. So the Germans uh, infantry squad was based around light machine gun. So Fraddle here. So we've got the MG34. Let's zoom in a bit. Given it that arc of fire. So what I tend to do is decide where I want to position the machine gun. Uh, and this is the main vector of the attack, supposedly. So set up the machine gun to cover an area and then have the rest of the sec the platoon positioned around that. Now if I actually if we turn on fire sectors. It's not that clear because it's putting on everybody's fire sectors, but you can see the machine gun covering that arc there. And then we can't really make it out. The rest of them, you can see these arcs along here. So the squad are trying to cover the same sort of ground. And the machine gun's range is just a wee bit more and the mortar. So the mortar will be out to here, machine guns there, and then the infantry is all targeted around 250 metres in this sort of terrain. Uh, is what I like to try and go for. Uh, the machine gun and the mortars you could open up much further ahead, but visibility is not good enough really. So the notion is that the Russian infantry spotted somewhere around here, it's engaged with the machine gun and the mortar, begin to pin them down, and then by the time they get to 250 metres, hopefully the volume of fire will be enough to break their morale. It's a notion anyway. Uh, you can see that we have one gap in the defences here. And the reason for that is that the troops back here are behind where I would want them to be. There's a trench line in there. But I've just positioned these troops uh, away from where I expect the enemy artillery to come in. Got some anti-tank guns set up here, cover this road. And we've got my battle group set up way back here that's got really good sort of field of vision. Right across this open ground up into this area. So they're obviously our last line of defence. If anything breaks through towards hill 65.5. So turn the fire sectors back off, clean up the map. And we can go ahead then, I suppose, and fight the battle. Let's see if we can hold out once again. Okay, so Covering the, the three main angles of the expected attack, we should be able to see flares going up in any of those areas. We've got crossroads to the left, and there's the first flare just appeared. Um, 
Yeah, so crossroads is far up to the left. More flares over there. Uh, we're currently looking at the view from this strong point objective. And as usual, the first action is an artillery barrage. So it's almost top of our troops. Uh, and this is again, this is around the uh, strong point objective. Right from this other angle, you can see that it is a bit off. I positioned this platoon uh, not in the pre dug trenches but in some shell holes, as you can see, and just to try and keep them away from where the artillery was likely to come in. And you can see further up to the north, up at the crossroads objective, there's some artillery landing up there as well. There wasn't supposed to be an attack up there, but maybe they're trying to flunk uh, foxes. So this is uh, up north at uh, crossroads, and it's difficult to see, but the position that we were in in the last battle in this area is where this artillery is landing, so there are trenches just in here amongst the trees. So you can just see them now. That's where we were in the last battle, but this time round I've got the troops further forward. And again, just because of expectations where the artillery would fall. And we've got recce troops forward again, and they have reported tanks in that sort of vicinity there. Can't make them out yet. There are some hints of movement through the foliage there. So, we'll wait and see what happens. The tanks were over somewhere around here. There they are. Okay, and the black flare going up to signal the target direction. Uh, we've got some legs down here. We've got four. Two of them have set up to cover the crest of the hill. And the other two uh, focusing down towards crossroads, uh, uh, towards strong point objective, might bring them back up to help out in defence of that hill. But the recce troops have now confirmed we've got two T-34s on the way in, uh, moving on in the background there. So I've ordered the recce troops to fall back to more defendable positions. We've called in some artillery as well in that sort of vicinity. We don't have the greatest accuracy, but Hopefully we can do some sort of damage. It's from uh, 105 mm howitzers. Down in the south, this is well known territory for us. Once again, Soviets are trying to attack. A concern for me is that some of my troops have decided to set up in the open ground there rather than back here in the trees where I'd uh, tried to deploy them. However, they are in cover of a sort and they've got a good view, if nothing else, of the mortar barrage that I've called in. This was an obvious line of attack again for the Soviets. So we've got a few uh, uh, fire missions set up for this area. And the artillery is now falling in the vicinity of the T-34s, so I've sort of lost sight of them for the moment. So I don't know how accurate it is. And this is uh, again back down at the southern edge of the map. Water fire is coming right on top of the advance. So I don't expect this will push very much further at all. And I've also I've got the troops there, now able to put their heads up, and most of the enemy are suppressed, so I'm able to uh, drive them back with the rifle and machine gun fire. There's some troops retreating up here, and we've got more troops over here. At least one guy still shooting back at us. So 
So, another thing of note, uh, in the strong point area, there's quite a strong Russian position. There's three mortars there and uh, a field gun. Uh, I don't have any artillery spotters or fire missions set up in those trenches. Uh, I suppose I was planning to call in fire when they advanced rather than a starting position. So I might need to try and see if I can get a spotter with some sort of line of vision in there. But up at Hill 65.5, there's a bit of good news. That looks to me like an abandoned T-34. So I wonder if it took a direct hit from the artillery. Or if the crew just got uh, the morale broken. But it definitely looks abandoned. I don't see any sign of the other tank though. So, we're not safe yet, but the Soviets have offered us a ceasefire. Well, I'm not going to take it. It's a bit early just now. Um, I would like to actually see if we can go and capture that tank. If it's not damaged, if it's not destroyed, then we can maybe put it to use. Although, would we be able to control enough of the battlefield to recover it? I don't know. Uh, I also want to try and deal with the forces that we've identified at strong point. If we could take out those mortars, that'd be ideal. But um, now this still is scatter range is far too much, so I'm not going to be able to call in any, any artillery on that with any degree of accuracy at all. And down in the southern area, the Soviets are falling back, so. I've ordered the troops to try and push forward. So we've got two platoons down here, the one in the open ground and this one that was over towards the east. Uh, they're going to try and follow up the retreating Russians and try and keep them running. And up a hill 65.5, we've got our platoon up here moving forward. I'm going to go and see if we can't find that tank. It's all quiet at the moment. So much for a strong attack, I was expecting. And I suppose if the Soviets have offered a ceasefire... Oh, they've decided against the ceasefire now, continuing the battle. I wondered if they didn't have much in the way of armoured support. And this main explosion I'm expecting is one of my troops. Yeah, it looks like one of the platoon there must have trodden on a mine. There's not any sign of any other sort of resistance. No. So just keep the troops moving forward. See down to the south we've got troops advancing over the open ground here covered by machine guns uh, and we have our artillery spotter ready to call in another fire mission. So we've got 15 rounds per tube coming in and hopefully this infantry will have the sense not to run into the barrage just hold position where they are. But there's absolutely no way those Russians are going to Stay and fight. You can see they're already trying to withdraw from the positions that they're in. And up in the northern area, the troops are getting close to the tank. Again, doesn't seem to be very much enemy resistance. Something around it they're shooting at. Maybe it's the tank crew. So I'm going to order this platoon to move forward to those trenches and this platoon will continue up into the trees here where the tank's located and we'll try and hold those positions. Still want to deal with the strong point down here. Looks like one of the mortals has either lost sight of it but artillery's still not an option for us. I did move the spotter. Um, 
Oh, okay. So it doesn't look like he's going to have any better luck calling artillery there. But the machine guns are pinning them down, so we've got a couple of platoons here. I'm going to order them to go and try and assault those trenches. And down here, this platoon has already reached the trenches there. This one's still advancing, almost into the position. So it's just a question of how far do I want to keep pushing. This isn't enough territory uh, to hold uh, that square. We would need to continue moving forward to those sorts of positions, maybe even further. Um, but I just want to really get a sense of what the Soviets have here. Uh, up at 65.5, we've got one and another abandoned T-34s. So it's really tempting now to keep pushing and try and capture these. I've got a platoon uh, just south of that area that's attacking the trench network. So we could potentially drive the Soviets back. And I like the watching the way this light machine gunner working his way into position to flank the enemy troops there and allow the rest of the section to move up. In fact, he's just taken out one of the enemy. Move again into position, and the rest of the squad are able to move up. And it looks like there's nobody left to shoot at them. There's one guy cowering there, just to the left of centre of the screen. Uh, actually, he's just died as well, but like the machine gunner got him too. So we should be able to attack and hold those trenches, I would have thought. Especially if we've got mortars that we can, uh, the commander can call in. So we've moved right up to the trees. We could push onto the trenches there. Uh, and again, we want to push up into those trenches. Down here, these guys are moving slowly towards the strong point. Looks like another mortar's been taken out there. And over here, I'm wondering whether we just want to hold position. Got another platoon up to the north. I think I'm going to push forward to support these two. And for the trenches here, um, these guys are pushing in really quite slowly. And I wonder if it's worth bringing this platoon south from the other direction. There doesn't seem to be anything up to the north there. But another ceasefire has been offered and I th think it may actually be worth taking the ceasefire. I mean, this attack's going well for the, the trenches up at 65.5. There's a lot of dead Russians as you can see, but we've taken a few casualties of our own. And if we're not going to be able to force the Russians to withdraw from the square, I don't think it's worth the risk. We don't have any artillery or armour, obviously, to support an attack. So, and I don't want to lose commanders. So I don't think I'm going to pursue this attack much further. We've tested the Russian strength, and at strong point, there's a mortar there that is inactive. And there's another one up there somewhere that also appears to be inactive, so if we've at least taken out the crews of the mortars, that might be enough for now. So, we've advanced to there, slightly up to there, Across here. So we're not going to take any territory, but I think that's probably enough. I'll go ahead and accept the gracious offer of a ceasefire. So essentially, we've did a bit of probing of our own. Um, down into the south, or on the right, as you look at it here, you can see that there's a quite a strongly held Russian position there. And up in the northern area, they hold that area in strength as well. 
and that's where the armour was coming from. Um, we've lost about four commanders there just since the ceasefire was offered and we've had about six, seven uh, mines detonated so it's not really worth my while pursuing the attack any further. And we get a draw. So the forces we've reduced by about 18%. Um, Russians by 26. Control, weighted area stays the same, so we didn't take any territory but didn't lose any. And complete loss. So it's actually, I'm looking at the casualties. Took a lot more casualties. I don't think that those probes were worth it. I don't, we certainly didn't take anything like that amount of wounded and heavy, heavily wounded from artillery barrage. We captured just two infantry. And they captured a heavy weapon. Is that the wrong way around? I would have thought we captured more infantry than they did. I suppose it depends where my troops were when the battle ended. They lost one vehicle and damaged. Hmm. Well, the guns are still there, I suppose. Something to be happy about. They've lost a number of commanders. Uh, a few infantry. Uh, quite a few scouts. Uh, a couple of spotters again. Okay, now it's one tank. So if we go and... Uh, in fact, let's have a look at the battlefield. See if we can work out what happened to the T-34s up here. So they definitely didn't take any anti-tank rounds. We know that for a fact. Um, if we can just find it. I'm not seeing it at all. I suppose oh no, it's, it was back in my territory. It was in the red areas, wasn't it? I think. No, no, it was in here somewhere. My infantry hadn't advanced beyond it, so it must be around... Somewhere up here. There it is. So, no obvious signs of damage, no penetration markers. In fact, no hit markers at all. Anywhere around. Um, dead crew there. So I wonder if they could have been killed by artillery fire, I suppose. Another tank. Uh, no, there's no hit markers on this either. So I think the last tank, the crew probably must would have been killed by my advancing infantry. I don't think we had artillery fall that far back. Uh, but this one here, again, it's just been abandoned and more dead. Is that dead Russian? I don't know if it was a tank crew. I don't think it was. It didn't seem to have a black uniform. So anyway, that's the end of another battle. Uh, we advanced to the very edge of their position all the way around. So essentially crossed no man's land and that's about the extent of it. Uh, looks like there was another tank, 1255. Hmm, I didn't notice that one. But anyway, uh, so I think we'll call it here and move on to the next battle. Okay, so we have a third battle to fight at the sort of midday on the 19th of March. And again, similar terrain. So some of these units are a bit beat up, but as long as the Russians don't bring any tank support we should be okay but we'll find out what happens next time round so for now thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed this please leave me a comment rate the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and hope to see you again next time cheers <laughs>